So I've had a couple people ask me a little bit about my yard and my property. It's not much to talk about really. It's a normal house and I shoot out of my garage. But this is my backyard. We'll just start here at the barn. I built this barn about five or six years ago when we moved in. I guess it's been seven or eight years ago. And, uh, you know, that was my first uh, big construction project. And, you know, it's not bad. It just holds my lawnmower and stuff. It needs to be painted. And my dog found a hole to dig. So I appreciate that dog. On the inside, it's just full of junk. <laughs> uh, mostly kids' bikes. The lawnmower and some other bikes and ladders and whatnot. So that's my barn. You remember my uh, cornhole games a couple last year? There's the uh, finished projects. I don't know if I ever did show you that I put purple heart around the edges just to give it a little flare. Those turned out really good. My backyard, this uh, purple circle thing right here. I used to have a swimming pool here and now it's, uh, it's growing all these purple weeds things. And yeah, I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> and quite honestly, I don't care. <laughs> um, there's the tree where I cut down because of the swimming pool because it, a branch fell off into the pool and actually poked a hole in the pool. So I uh, cut everything down and got it to that point. I didn't have a chainsaw big enough to actually take the rest of it down, but I will someday. Right now, the that's where my birdhouse sits. You probably zoom right in there to uh, Buried Woodworkers logo. <laughs> that was a fun project, that birdhouse. Here's the back of my house. I got some serious landscaping to do. And that spot right there, we used to have a sandbox and we got rid of that because the kids never played in it. Just a few weeks ago, I actually put that fence up there so now my dogs can run around in the backyard. So let's uh, walk around. This was a, uh, this, this is my fire pit, but the reason it's circle is because I used to have one of those little kiddie pools right there and it tore up the yard, so I actually ended up making a fire pit out of it. So that's where I have all my bonfires. Here's my little baby grill. <laughs> and somebody's mowing their yard, of course. So the side of the yard, not much to see. I still got my wife's car that she totaled last year. Look at that dash. Dash has been all tore up. And don't ask me why this is still here. I just haven't moved it. That was uh, really messed up. So there, I don't even know if this, oh, yeah, I guess it does open. But look at the floorboard, how crunched up that thing got. She got hit pretty good, so. Wow, I'm surprised that even opened. So there's that. Here's the, uh, my garage where I do my woodworking. There's the back of my car and the front of my house. Again, I need to do some landscaping big time. Uh, I got a big old, I think it's a maple tree in the front yard. 
it's in really good shape. A couple, uh, couple things I need to trim right in here, but a uh, couple dead branches right in there. But other than that, it's pretty good shape. Um, that's really about it, you know. Not much to say. It's just a small house. Oh, oh there's one of my doggy dogs. That's Dolly. This is my baby girl, Jenny. She's a big old baby. She cries about everything. It's a project that I'm working on right now. You'll see that soon. So we'll head back out in the garage. Oh, got a on air. And there it is. <laughs> typical, uh, typical house. One story, three bedrooms, one bath. Not, not a big deal. It's a car and a half garage. Um, but I did have some people ask me about that, so I'd figure I'd show you. <laughs> um, wow, this is going to be a good week. Um, tomorrow I got a video, and Saturday I got an announcement. So stay tuned. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm just so excited about this week. I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> um, yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> so I, w I was working on that, that frame today and, uh, I went over and got the glass for it. I got, I came home. So I backed the car in, popped the hatch and, uh, went to pull out the glass. Of course, this is a 33 by 55 inch glass, uh, eighth inch thick. So I started pulling it out and, I, and the uh, paper that was around the glass kind of got stuck on the carpet. So being a dumbass like me, I kind of lifted up and I, I was trying to pull it out this way and I kind of lifted it up like this just to get it over that little carpet hump or whatever it was and the glass shattered. <laughs> $55 piece of glass just shattered in my hands like it was nothing. I actually got a little boo-boo because of it. Um, so the client was very cool. Uh, she, she actually even paid for the second piece. Um, but I got to get it ordered and, and we're going to go with plexiglass this time. Uh, she was kind of leaning more towards the plexiglass the last, the, the first time, but I talked her into the glass. So I felt really bad. And, and I told her, I was like, I, I, I would be more than happy to pay for the second piece. I mean, it was my own stupidity for breaking the damn thing. But, uh, she was, she was really cool. And, uh, she sent over money in my PayPal account and, uh, I went over and ordered the plexiglass. And uh, so if you're dealing with a piece of glass that large, just take the frame when you're done with it over to the glass shop. Let them install it and mess with it. You bring the frame home and deliver it to the client or whatever you want to do. That would be so much easier. <laughs> um, what else has been going on? I haven't had a mindful minutes in a while. I'm kind of out of my elements. Um, yeah, tomorrow's video should be pretty fun. Um, I, I had fun doing it. The movie set clapper. That's all you get. <laughs> Check out tomorrow uh, tomorrow's video. That project really turned out well. And uh, I had I had fun doing that one. That actually took me a little longer than I was expecting it to take. No reason, I, I just, you know, kind of fiddled with it for about a week and I finally ended up finishing it one night. Uh, once I got in the groove of actually working on it, it didn't take very long at all, but you know, I just did a little here, a little there. Yeah, you have know, weeks like that, I guess. Oh, sticker wall cabinet update. I got Mike's Minor Wood Shop. Uh, Steve Carmichael sent me this one. It says, only woodworkers enjoy board, board meetings. Uh, Tim Babb at Woodworking Maniac. 
uh, Charles Daring, um, uh, Roush Woodwork sent me one. I think you've seen the Nick Ferries and the Carmichaels. Um, this is my new one, and you can find out how to get some of those Saturday or tomorrow, Saturday, one or the other. <laughs> I got a video today, Friday, and Saturday. So just watch my channel, find out what's going on. Um, StickerGuy.com is where I got my stickers, and I believe uh, Carmichael and Nick Ferry got their stickers as well from them. Um, really good quality stickers, really good price. Turnaround, eh. Oh, there's a new word in my shop we don't say no more. Starts with a D, and it happens to be the manufacturer of three of my uh, shop equipments. That's all. <laughs> oh, like I said, I'm just kind of excited about this week and, uh, you know, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to say. So hopefully this was valuable. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I got. It's Mike from MF Wood Shop. Come back tomorrow, come back Saturday, check out my websites, check out my social medias. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.